Did you know that you can sew a shoe like this at home using a basic sewing machine with no special equipment? And guess what? It's actually pretty easy when you're using one of Shoeology's sewing patterns and learning from their easy to follow step-by-step -step tutorials. So here's the cool part. We're going to be taking a soft-soled slipper-like shoe like this one and turning it into a durable street shoe like this. The best part is, it's molded to your unique foot, giving you the art support and comfort you need. So here's how to do it. All of Shoeology's paper patterns include a sole pattern. Once you print out your size, trace the sole onto the smooth side of the Miracle Mold soling. Then flip it over and trace the other sole. When you're done with that, trace a half inch line around the entire sole. This will allow enough room for a small amount of shrinkage when you heat it up in the oven. Preheat your oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Since we are molding only one sole at a time, lay only one sole on top of a large sheet of aluminum foil. Once your oven is ready, place the aluminum sheet on the middle oven rack. Then set your timer for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And please, don't forget about it. While the soling is heating up, put on the shoe that you sewed together. Then lay a piece of stretchy fabric such as t-shirt material on the floor. When the timer goes off, take your sole out of the oven and lay it on top of the fabric. Now grab both ends and align the fabric with the arch of your foot. Pull tight and tie a knot. Use your hands to mold and cup the toe area and the heel area. Continue molding for about one to two minutes. Once it's molded to your satisfaction, allow it to cool down. It should only take a few minutes to cool down. Now you have a perfectly molded footbed for your shoes. Repeat this step for the other sole. Now we're going to prepare to attach the shoe to the sole. To do this, grab some chalk and draw lines all around the shoe. As you draw on the shoe, make sure you continue the line onto the edge of the sole so that later, when you glue them both together, they will line up properly. Now it's time to get your glue ready. You'll need at least 4 ounces of contact cement to glue the soles on. You can usually find a pint of contact cement at your local hardware store for about $7 here in the United States. You'll also need a disposable brush or preferably a container of contact cement that has the brush within the lid as shown here. Now take your materials outside or to a well ventilated area. Now apply glue to the sole and the underside of your shoes. In this video we are only recording the glue application to one sole and one shoe. However, when you are doing this step it would be more efficient to apply glue to both soles and both shoes at the same time. Let the soles and shoes dry for 5 to 15 minutes. You'll know that they are ready when they are tacky when you touch them. Now we're ready for the attachment. You want to sit down and cross one leg over the other one as shown here. Starting at the heel, align the chalk marks with your eye first and then slowly and carefully proceed. Continue aligning the marks as you move towards the toe area. Hand press it into place and then stand up and push down on all angles of the shoe to secure the attachment.
If things didn't align properly for you, you've got about a one minute window to pull the sole off and then you can just start the glue application again. Now with a pair of sharp scissors, trim the excess soling off to your liking. Using 60 to 80 grit sandpaper, take a couple of minutes to smooth down the edges of your sole. 